Hello Houston, Brother D. Mark once again, I'm bringing you Community Talk. And I'm here with a real good friend of mine, Dr. Milton Moore. How are you doing today, Dr. Moore? I'm doing very good. Thank you for asking. Dr. Moore is one of our esteemed dermatologists in the Houston area, and he's recently been honored with a proclamation from the mayor's office and given to it by, I think, Councilman Larry Green? Yes, Larry Green was one of the Yes, a good friend of mine. Uh, the proclamation was given to Dr. Moore, giving him his own day. I don't know how he could pull that out, but <laughs> <laughs> when you get your own day, that means you've done something very special and, and very something good for our community. Uh, I think uh, I want to start off, Dr. Moore, with kind of telling the people a little about your background, who you are, where, where did Milton Moore come from, and, and uh, how did you get to where you are? Well, um, I got to where I am by hard work being very consistent. I um, went to Xavier University in New Orleans for pharmacy, finished my pharmacy degree, knew I wanted to go on to have, because um, pharmacies at that time was being taken over by Walgreens, so I knew I wasn't going to really do very much with independent pharmacy, so I said, okay, I guess I got to go to medical school. <laughs> so I went to medical school and I said, well, I want to use my pharmacy knowledge, I don't want to throw that away, so I decided to go into the area of dermatology and I seek to uh, get a residency in dermatology, which I did at uh, Howard University. So I went from Xavier to Meharry for medical school and then on to Howard for my dermatology. There are actually very few black dermatologists in the country. There are about somewhere around 7,000 Caucasian dermatologists, but only about uh, somewhere between 400, 500 um, African-American dermatologists. So, uh, you know, it's, I'm very proud to actually be uh, in this field and to be able to put my knowledge together to make a difference in people's lives and that's what's important to me. Uh, I started out myself trying to come up with something that would help me. I had a severe problem with razor bumps. I couldn't shave. And I said, here I am, a dermatologist and a pharmacist and I don't, can't write a prescription for anything that's going to clear up all of these bumps and when I shave, I couldn't even button up my collar because it would bleed for you know a good hour or so. And so I kept working with different things, so I actually came up with something that really worked and made a difference, and it, and it worked for me, and I decided to uh, get a patent on it, and so I applied for a patent, and I was able to start up a skincare company called More Unique Skin Care, uh, and moreuniqueskincare.com is where I started selling my products nationwide, and from there, uh, Walgreens took note, and Walgreens said, well, uh, we'd like to try your product as well, so I was able to get my product into Houston, uh, about 20 stores just starting out, and then it did so well, the, the corporate office wanted me to come up up to Chicago, and then I got it into uh, Walgreens uh, nationwide. So right now I have it into Walgreens, and I have a passion actually for clearing up the problem of shaving. I want, my, my whole goal and agenda is that all men be able to shave with a razor and be clean shaven and have a good self-esteem and not feel like everyone's focusing on their razor bumps or not able to be a policeman or a fireman because they can't don a mask because they've got razor bumps and they're not able to shave. My, my whole thing is to make sure that every man in this world will be able to shave if they want to and not have to suffer with razor bumps like I did. And um, that's what's coming about. I, I do have a very effective product called the Razor Rash Relief Cream that is marketed through Walgreens that does eliminate razor bumps no matter how severe. And then just now, uh, I said, okay, I have the, 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 I have the treatment cream. I need to develop a better razor. The razors that exist right now just don't make a lot of sense. The blade so so that's, that's, that's the reason that you created the uh, Eagle Wing uh, razor. Yes, this, this is the mock-up copy of the Eagle Wing razor. I don't know if we're getting that uh, as good, but uh, explain to them the dimensions of the nine blades and how how it affects the shave for, for men. Okay, well, you know, it's the first uh, nine blade razor in the world. Uh, right now, the largest number of blades is five that uh, um, the Fusion razor Gillette has, and this has nine blades. But they're not all in a row. Uh, there's only three rows, but there are two wings. And with the two wings, it equals nine blades, as you can see. On the diagram, you have the main area, and then you have two wings. Now, the two wings allows a, a convex surface. The head, the face, is really a convex surface. It's not flat. Now, okay. press it to make it flat, but it's not flat. Okay. So, this razor has a tension-built wings that actually cups the skin better 
so that it can shave it smoother without having to press it so hard in order to be able to get the close shave. So it, so it follows the curve of, of your face. Of your face, exactly. And so you're trying to force your face into a flat surface for the razor to shave. Now that's only one aspect. The other aspect is the fact that today's technology really is backwards. The blades first shave the first pass and the lubricating bar passes afterwards. So the lubricating bar is doing nothing to actually improve the first shave, the first pass with the razor. Most of the hair comes off with the first pass. It doesn't make any sense, but that's the way the technology is. This technology is different. It changes that. The lubrication comes out before the blades actually hit on the face and it is with another patented product I have, which is the Silky Hydroglide. The Silky Hydroglide gel goes into the bottom of the razor and it's dispensed hot. It has a battery in the razor and the razor heats up the, the shave gel. So it comes out as you're shaving onto the surface and then your blades are coming out. So, so the hydrogen gel is actually dispensed from the razor? From the razor, yes. So yes, it's, it's, it's a little be... opening at the bottom and you just fill it up and you, uh, there's a baffle switch that tells you how much you can allow how much you want to come out while you're passing it. But while you're passing it, you're getting hot shave gel coming out onto the surface, protecting your skin before the first pass of that razor blade hits. So we're talking about a better shave for anyone who shaves, but certainly for those who suffer from razor burns and razor bumps. So how long before this product will be able to be available at the stores? Well, uh, it's in prototype uh, production right now, and we're, we're uh, planning somewhere between four to six months having it available uh, for production. Uh, we are looking at several uh, aspects in terms of possibly licensing the rights to Gillette, Schick, or another company who may be interested, but we are going to move forward on it ourselves uh, through an infomercial. Um, so th those are some of the things we're doing together with it. So I was really excited about the whole Eagle Wings technology that I wanted to have a collection to go along with it. Uh -huh. So it's not just a wonderful razor to get the best shape possible for anyone, but also there is the Sickly Hydroglide Shave Gel that goes in it that gives a superior shave. And there's the Ascension Cologne that is part of the series. Okay. So you can put some of the Ascension Cologne on after you shave. <laughs> so if you have something to shave with, you have a gel uh, to prep the skin and shave. It has anti-aging extracts on it, so you can put more on after you shave. It's clear. And after that, you can put on the Ascension Cologne. That's well, what. well, let me get a sense of cologne with Brother D. Morris test, uh, Dr. Morris. So, my, for my viewers to know that that uh, what you're saying, because I think I'm a connoisseur of cologne. I am too. And uh, <laughs> viewers, I tell you, if I put this on, you'll put it on. And I, I put my stamp on it for Dr. Moore. It's a nice smelling cologne. It really smells fresh. Uh, so it gives you that that uh, that. Uh, that aurora, that aurora smells from, I guess, being a fresh scent. You're right. And uh, one of the ways I plan to promote it is, I think it's going to be great for guys going into the gym. You go into the gym, you know, while you're sweating perspiring, you have this fresh smell. Uh, you, you go to one side and all the women all of a sudden start to come <laughs> on and work out where you are. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a good thing. So, Dr. Moore, uh, a lot of my viewers do not know that you have two young sons. Uh, one that's following the family tradition. Uh, and I want you to tell me a little more about the family tradition, about the Moore history. I personally know it, but I want my viewers to know a little bit about it. Yes, well, I'm very proud of my older son, uh, Dr. Milton R. Moore, is a physician as well. Uh, he went to follow all my footsteps. You know, God has blessed me with a son that followed my exact footsteps. That's very rare, uh, I yes. tell you. <laughs> he went to Xavier, uh -huh. pledged my fraternity, oh, Alpha okay. Phi Alpha. And then after that, went on to Meharry Medical School and uh, graduated with honors and uh, is now doing his Durham residency at uh, UT San Antonio. Okay. And so uh, he actually was working with me for about three months doing surgery and helping with, with patients before he started his residency. So um, I'm really proud of the fact that he'll be coming back and helping to develop more products and helping me to see patients and, and treat patients. And then my youngest son, uh, just uh, recently, one month ago, uh, finished from UT uh, Austin in law and um, actually took the, the bar 
before he even graduated, which mm. is not a very common thing. And passed it. And passed it. That was the right. part I wanted to get to. He passed. Right. He passed, passed it before he graduated. Right. That's something. I'm yeah. telling you. And he has accepted a position with Vincent Elkin, big law firm um, downtown here in Houston. So uh, he's been actively involved with the marketing aspect. Uh, matter of fact, he's dealt with you on with some of the different things yeah. that, that uh, you all have been doing with us. And so um, he will continue to be involved from the skincare side, and my oldest son will be more involved with the medical side. Now, Dr. Moore, for our viewers in the African-American community that uh, suffer with a lot of skin diseases and uh, skin irritations, uh, and typically, you know, we don't go to the doctor as a, as a race of people unless it's dying knee at, at the last stages a lot of times. So I want you to let our viewers know that, that uh, how can they... Uh, find out more information about you guys, one, but two, tips that you could give them for vi to treat very little simple uh, skin irritations or things like that. Mm -hmm. What could they do? Well, some of the things, uh, you know, it depends on the time of year, of course. Uh, now it's very hot and your skin, you know, can perspire a lot. Uh, some conditions like eczema and psoriasis sometimes can get a little worse, you know, during that time. Uh, itching you know, can be a problem. Uh, so you want to lubricate the skin as much as possible if you have uh, dry skin and you have itching going on. Uh, the thing is that you want to seek help early on. Uh, too many people just wait until they suffer so much till they just can't take it no more. And then they, they're going to the emergency room or then they finally present it to the doctor's office. Mm -hmm. Whereas it could have been treated earlier, much quicker and gotten under control and they could have slept a lot better. So I, I think people should address things as they come up. Don't yes. put your head in the ground and just say, well, it'll go away. Yeah. You know, it's, it always, go away. it's yeah. always been like that, you know, so I don't need to do anything about it. You know, technology is wonderful yeah. today. You know, check and see if there's something that can be done to correct your problem. You don't know until you ask. You have yes. not because you ask not. Yes, sir. Uh, so for my viewers, uh, to find out more information about More Unique and the wonderful product that Dr. Moore has created, to help our community. Where, where can they go, Dr. Moore? Well, uh, they can go to moreunique.com, and um, that's just like my name, more, M-O-O-R-E, and then unique.com. Uh, and there's questions uh, that, uh, frequent asked questions that they can get on there. They also can ask questions on that website at moreunique.com. Uh, they can register to become a patient so they can be treated uh, uh, in my office. My office is uh, right on the, on the, Belfort, uh, about a block from uh, Kirby, uh, near the Reliance Stadium. Can you give them that address? Yeah, uh, yeah sure. That's 2525 West Belfort, uh, Suite 105. And we have a spa service, so you can have some pampering and look good and feel good as well. So, And, 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 and what's the phone number here? Uh, the phone number is easy to remember, 713-741-DERM, D-E-R-M. So if you don't have a pen, you can just remember 713, the normal Houston uh, extension, 741-DERM, D-E-R-E-M. And D-E-R-E-M stands for 3376. So 713-741-3376. Dr. Moore, thank you for your time. Remember, Houston, you heard it first with Brother D. Mars with Community Talk. I'll see you in your community.